Mm, sorry, I gotta, the recession is coming, okay? I gotta get my money together, stack my money up because I don't know what's gonna happen. Good morning, so I resigned. I respectfully resigned yesterday via email. I'm gonna call them, because I'm a nice person, I'm gonna call them and let them know to check their emails just in case, because I don't wanna like be that person that, you know, that's horrible. So I'm just gonna let them know. I was supposed to work tomorrow, but something happened yesterday and it doesn't sit well with me and I'm not continuously going to be, you know, I'm not gonna be that person who needs to hear it more than once that I need to get the hell out of there. Like, it's just, no, I don't, no, I don't deserve that. So I'm, I'm, I gotta go. Like something's telling me it's like, that office is not my place to be. I need to go, I need to leave. So yeah, I'm not gonna be there um, anymore. Um, I, like after I sent them that email, I felt free, you know, I felt liberated. I felt like I was myself, you know, I felt like I own me. Like, you don't, like I was trying to be nice, you know, just stick around with, with them because they actually like, you know, were kind of apologetic, not directly, but they were just like, every single time they had a chance to say sorry, they were saying sorry to me. I felt it's another thing like I feel like when somebody does something to you you should directly approach them and admit your mistake and say you're sorry that way not because I want you to just like oh apologize to me no because I need to know that you've taken full responsibility of what you did and you're acknowledged that what you did was wrong so therefore you have a lesser chance of repeating that mistake but if you're not apologizing to for what you did it means that whatever you're gonna repeat it again and I'm not one to stick around when someone does some foul things to me so yeah I I feel liberated I'm leaving and I don't mean to be rude but I just don't see myself after what happened yesterday I don't see myself stepping into the office I have too much respect for myself to step into that office again like no I felt bad but sorry I gotta I gotta love me first cuz ain't nobody gonna love me like I love me so no I'm not doing it <laughs> like yeah I'm on my way to work, okay? I'm like, these people have messed up my money long enough. Like, I'm not about to let them mess my money up some more. And they're being... In a quarter already. mile, use the middle lane to turn left onto Arbor Way. Yeah, I'm also using the GPS. Um, so yeah, y'all... Mm -mm. Sorry, I gotta... The recession is coming, okay? I gotta get my money together, stack my money up, because I don't know what's gonna happen. And you know, use the middle lane to turn left I, onto Arbor Way, then turn right onto Francis Parkman Drive. I take care of myself, so I gotta stack my money up. I can't let these people mess, mess my money like the recession's coming. I'm pretty sure they're stacking up their money, so I gotta do the selfish thing, you know? Like, you know, I don't usually do this, but I gotta look out turn for Turn right me. onto Francis Parkman Sorry. Drive. Uh uh. Like I'm, I'm kinda like done being nice. Like, I. I'm trying to, in a quarter not, mile, turn right onto Perkins Street. I'm not saying I'm going to be an evil person, but I'm going to be nice to people who are deserving of my niceness or my kind nature. Other people, I've, other people have been on my radar for me to stop being nice to them because they don't see my niceness as being caring. They see it as a weakness. And I, <laughs> I don't know about that, but okay. So yeah, I'm kind of done writing for the day. This is how I feel. All right. Bye, guys. Um, have a great day. Let me drive safely. Take care. Bye. Turn right onto Perkins Street. Right, I'm gonna slow down before I turn this camera off. Okay. Later.